what is up everyone welcome to today's video i took the flight to kyrgyzstan a few days ago and i realized that i missed a few important things in order to keep myself clean here in today's video we're gonna get into a local supermarket and we're gonna see how the prices of the things are and if it is very difficult to buy with no kyrgyz or russian if you're following the series you know that i already know a couple of words that i didn't know the day before <laughs> and hopefully we can get by and get all the toiletries and some food to spend the evening because I have to spend the night editing for you guys I'm actually very interested about this because this is one of the basic things that differentiate many of our countries how expensive is the food how expensive is the basic needs that we have so popping into the supermarket and buying groceries and buying stuff is gonna be one of the first local things that I'm gonna do here we have been recommended to this keeper market which I assume is this you guys who speak the language tell me so let's get going and let's make some shopping all right Ooh, that's a, those are huge watermelon guys. Wish they set the price somewhere, but there's nothing here. Oh, we're gonna get some fruit for tonight, right? A fruit salad sounds amazing for me. Big question is if we have to wait this stuff or we can just grab things. Mm, the banana seems a little bit off yet. Oh, but those ones, those apples are calling me. Let's grab a couple. Red, right? I like them in the red. This is for me. Uh, this is for me. Off we go, guys. All right, let's see what do we got here. I think this is a standard in every supermarket, right? Wow, but look at the freaking difference, guys. So these are the energy drinks, the Red Bull. But the Red Bull is actually almost the same price. Big ones are around two dollars and a little bit two dollars twenty uh, but the prices of the, the same thing like the big cokes are like almost one dollar i guess for the big brands the standard is the same and, but this is a big ass difference i got some water on my hostel and it cost me 64 and in here the big bottle cost 23 some which is basically 25 cents I could get some cherries, right? Yeah, I feel like some cherries. Some cherries is a good investment. Get a little around. Get a handful of cherries. All right. How do we feel about it? It's 320 per kilo, so that's basically four dollars. Four dollars per kilo. We got hopefully five grams. So <laughs> there are some Muslim countries that they still don't serve any sort of alcohol. It's quite interesting to see that it's still in here. People take their time to have a glass of wine on the night, have a beer. And for me as a tourist, which perhaps at some point want to have a beer, good that there is availability. Well, should we get nasty here? Oh, what is this, my lord? I want everything. I want it all. Oh my lord, look at this. This all looks great. Okay. All right, let's get the things that we need first so let's get some shampoo i actually missed at my house some shampoo some conditioner i've been using the one from someone in the hostel so let me see what we have here crown question is how do we know what is shampoo what is conditioner well these brands are recognizable we have the same in europe and probably in america as well my camera went off, so I had to change the battery, but I asked a gentleman if he told me the difference between shampoo and conditioner, and we got it, woo! So I can finally wash my hair with my own products. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm. I'm about to misbehave, guys. I feel this is too good to let it pass. <laughs> it's all these dishes guys, oh this feels amazing I'm gonna grab some of these 
You can do it, Ruben. You had a healthy day. You can make it up for one day. I can make it one day with no chocolate. Oh, wow. Look at the spices. That's what I'm talking about. This is very different than in my countries, guys. The way that it is presented is fantastic, guys. You can hear some of the plates. Oh, this must be amazing for cooking, guys. Oh, smells amazing. Oh, my Lord. Look at this. Wow. I can't wait to try more local food, guys. This is going to be fantastic. The only thing that I am missing now is a brush for my hair, but I can't seem to find any here, so I might have to stop in a pharmacy. But sorry for cursing, guys. Fuck it. I'm gonna get some sweets. For the last couple of days, I've been minding my own business when I've been on the hostel, and I feel a little bit guilty because people have been trying to socialize with me, and I had far too many things to do. This is gonna be a good touch to put it on the table and offer everyone as a conversation starter. Get a coffee and maybe get to know a little bit the people on the hostel. All right, so the apples and the cherry was one euro and a half. I'm assuming I have to show the ticket and that's about it. Hello, yeah. Paparuski? Oh. And Paparuski? Paket. 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 So far, everything that I bought right now cost me 800 som, around 10 dollars and 10 euro. And it is quite alright, eh? I got some shampoo, some conditioner, a couple of apples, some cherries big bottle of water, some chocolate to share with people. I'm gonna head back to the hostel and offer the people whatever I just bought. Sit down outside, get a coffee and maybe socialize a little bit. Traveling alone is fun, but especially in this line of work that I'm doing right now, I have big demands with the traveling, filming, editing. So sometimes I don't socialize too much and I feel it's good to balance. And hello again, this is another day. We're gonna make a second round just because tomorrow we're gonna have a big hike and the stuff that i'm gonna need today is gonna be a little bit different i'm gonna get some sandwiches some snacks for the way some water and stuff so let's see what's the price of that there we go it's 251 this is kind of expensive though oh, cheese for what four dollars whoa oops okay jesus christ this is so expensive we are not picky, so we're getting the cheese one. Cheap one. There. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Chorizo. Yeah, I'm gonna need some energy, so I'm probably gonna get some ham, some cheese, some basic things for sandwiches. Oh wait. Ham? No, of course not. I'm gonna have a strong breakfast in the hostel, so I don't think that I need to buy that many things. But definitely loads of water because we're gonna go up in altitude though. Alright, this looks likely what I want to have, maybe. Yeah. Fucking hell guys, I got this. Biggest portion of rice, vegetables and meat with almost half a chicken and half a kilo of mashed potato. And that is gonna cost approximately $4. Absolutely. And I am going to need some sugar. But what kind of sugar are we looking for? Some chocolate bars, some, some energetic bars, or just some chocolate to be nasty. I haven't done a big hike in a while. I feel like you even forget what to get properly in these situations. <laughs> I've been for five minutes looking for energetic bars. I cannot find them. I'm just gonna get chocolate and I forget. I need something to sugar me up if something is going on wrong. So I got some water, I got some sandwiches, I got some chocolate. I'm gonna have a good breakfast. Nuts? I've never seen so many nuts with so many flavors. And I've been on a gay pride, guys. Sorry for that. I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, barbecue. So this is my hiking gear. Oh my god. Oh. 
this was a whole different thing than from yesterday yesterday it fell a tiny bit overpriced this one fell for me a little bit better we just spent around 14 dollars i thought it was 1200 so it's been around 14 dollars 15 dollars more or less and we just got everything we just got a snacks for the whole day we have food for tonight we had some water for tomorrow so we know now that the luxury brands of shampoo and conditioners are expensive but the rest of the things are quite nice in price in any case guys it's my time to shine go home and eat some food i don't learn how to cross the road for you <laughs> I'm gonna go home, eat some food and relax. I'm gonna try to organize properly because tomorrow, hopefully, if I make it happen, I wanna go to the Al Arza National Park. And ideally, if uh, the conditions are nice and I'm uh, feeding off, maybe go a little bit higher. As usual, guys, thank you so much for watching the video and subscribe to the channel. We are getting close to the thousand subscribers, which means that soon enough, we are gonna get monetized. And when that happens, we are going to get a little bit crazy here. Be good. See you later. Peace.